Welcome to video tutorial 15. At the end of the last video we left you completing most of the arm up to the end of line 18. So this is what your arm will now look like. You can see it starts smaller, grows a little bit and then comes in smaller toward the top. We'll read our next instruction and then we'll show you how to do it. So after you've finished line 18 it says do not fasten off stuff the hand then the arm very lightly leaving it empty at the top fold the arm flat and then double crochet through a front and back stitch together times five to close fasten off leaving around 30 centimeters of yarn attached for sewing the arm to the body later so what exactly does that mean we're going to show you Pop our scissors to the side so what we've done is finish line 30 so now we are going to, I'm just going to take my stitch marker out because we don't need that on anymore. And I'm just going to make, pull the loop a little bit bigger and move it to one side while I just pop a bit of stuffing in. Now we're only going to be using a small amount of stuffing. If you find it easy, you can stuff as you go along, but I've left it to the end to show you how to do it. So we're going to pop some stuffing in pushing it down toward the arm, so you can use either your finger or the end of your crochet hook or a chopstick. I don't tend to have chopsticks because I really just can't eat with them. <laughs> I find it all falls off, so I use the back of my crochet hook. So what we've done here is we've got some in the hand and I'll pull a little bit of that along. So there's a few, just a few tiny little balls along here, but very little. So we've got a bit in the hand, just going to pop a tiny bit in, just talking small amounts. Less is more with the arms. Don't get enthusiastic and put too much in. You'll have arms that stick out of the sides. So stuff the hand, let's give it a little bit of weight, get on the shape. And then the rest of it, we've just got a tiny little bit in there along the rest. And the top, good few centimetres, two, three centimetres at least, needs to be completely empty so that is the shape that you're looking for and that will mean that the arm can lie flat by the side and not be stuck out so now what we could do is we could just cut the yarn and use a needle to sew the top together you can do that if you prefer but this is a really neat easy way of finishing off any limbs that end like this so we're going to pop our hook back in as if we're going to crochet but what we're going to do, instead of going around in a circle, we're going to crochet through one side to the next, one side to the next. So in effect, we're crocheting it closed. So make sure you're happy with the stuffing and the size before you start doing this. And it's just like normal crochet, but you'd instead of going through one stitch at the front, hold it flat so that this stitch that you've where your yarn is attached is right at the end. So go through your next stitch and then go through the very end one, uh, the final one that you've got. It doesn't matter if you don't do all five, if you just do four, as long as it's closed. So we've gone through both instead of just going through one. So we've gone through the next stitch and then the nearest one here that we have. And we're just going to do a double crochet. So we're going to do our yarn over as normal. Oops, I seem to have got my thread stuck where I wait one, two. So I've gone through that. So I'm going to grab the yarn and pull it through. And then go over the top and pull it through. So it's exactly, it's a double crochet stitch. But you're just going through, not one stitch, but the one exactly level behind it. Try not to leave a gap. So we're going to do one and then through the other. So try and just keep them level. So we're going one and the one behind it. So that's three times we've done that. Four times. And then if you can get one in at the end, you can do your final one. If you find you've pretty much gone right across and you don't have another one, don't worry. As long as it's closed and the stuffing can't come out. And you can see there, look at the finish. It's a beautiful, neat end. So when we sew that on, we'll have that nice, neat side on the outside. And it just looks really nice and neat. So what we're going to do now is cut off our yarn. 
So I'm just going to cut it off and leave. You don't need a great big amount for the arms. It's enough to sew it on around the front and also around the back. So I'll snip it about there. And then to make sure it's closed, we just pop the end through the loop. Like so. And that is our arm finished. So next you need to make another arm exactly the same and finish it off just like we have here. And then we'll have our two arms ready and we'll be ready to start with the next part. <laughs> 